G'day, Brett here. I've been traveling on the road around Australia for nearly nine months, and I've been sleeping in the back of my Defender. Now, some of you who have seen my other videos may remember my Expedition Vehicle Series, which showed how I built up my bed. But here's a closer look for those who are interested. So in the back space, I've got a nice thick uh, mattress, foam mattress, and then I've got my two different uh, two-part uh, bed platforms. Now these are made to fit across the span where my two storage boxes were. So I'll take this uh, mattress out and then uh, give you a close-up look at how I put it all together and then show you from inside what it's like sleeping in the back. So I have the two bed platforms. This main one is permanently fixed. I've got uh, it bolted in with four different bolts, one in each corner. This can all be removed so I can put anything in here I like such as a bike or whatever boxes that I need to carry. Now this second platform was held in by four bolts on top. Gradually I got lazy and only put in two. Unless I was going really off-road and there's a lot of bouncing around then I'd uh, bolt it in properly with all four bolts and tighten up uh, little bolts, little nuts underneath just so it stayed on tight and wouldn't lift up and knock me in the back of my head. So. Now all this can be brought out from outside. I simply just reach across, lift up my two bolts, like that, and this gives me the bottom platform. Now I think this was a 12 mil marine ply, so it's fairly strong, and I've got aluminium stripping around the edge to reinforce it. I'll give you another look at my front mounting system. Now the front mounting system is simply two uh, RHS bars and this little right angle jobby. The top end simply fit in to here, like this, something like that. And this all slots into two holders I've mounted onto the, uh, the bodywork. So the front platform comes up, puts that here nice and tightly. I can always throw an extra bolt in here as a, a staying bolt just so it doesn't slip out or move back and forth. So I'll show you how this works. Usually when I pull up to camp, I throw my front seat forward. I'll grab my two posts. Slotted both these in place, top one on top. Bed platform slides forward. Basically mounted in place. Grab my two bolts, throw a couple in. And then I might put a, a third one in if I, if I feel like it. Otherwise, that's my bed, and I'm pretty much set up, ready to go. Obviously, I have my mattress on top, but I'll uh, show another few close-ups here of this. And pretty much that's how I climb into bed every night. Uh, just jump straight in. Now, see, I've got my two uh, nets here. They're pretty useful just for throwing odds and ends in when I'm uh, in camp. Two pillows, lots of books. And uh, usually I put my sleeping bag up there, but it's now summer and I don't use a sleeping bag at all. It's just too hot. So I can pull out. And this gives me a nice, beautiful spot in between. Just to relax. So there's still plenty of room to move up and move up and around. I can, uh, you know, sometimes I can get changed inside under a shirt change my pants if I need to, if I'm in a caravan park and there's not much privacy, I might just get changed inside. I've got uh, curtains all around and the front I can put a, uh, a sun shield up and that gives me pretty much privacy inside. Now it's very comfortable in winter, it's uh, probably three degrees or four degrees warmer than outside. In summer, I've had to start sleeping with the rear door open because it's just so hot, it just uh, there's no other way I'd die if I had the uh, rear door closed. <coughs> I do use the uh, 
window socks on the side doors. I wind the windows down, but that's still just not enough breeze coming through to cool me off. So I'll show you uh, the window socks and uh, a little job I knocked up for the rear door. Now my window socks I simply have hooked up just behind here. Wind down the windows every night. Throw one of these on. That would give me a bit of breeze and stop the mosquitoes and midges and flies getting in at night. And do one of those each side and I'll show you what I have for the back door now. Now when it started getting too hot, I opened the rear door and as soon as I found a town with a hardware store, I went in and purchased some uh, insect netting along with some heavy duty Velcro. Now this happened to be just the right uh, width for the rear door. It could have been a bit better if it was a bit bigger, but I just had to get what I had to get. And uh, just glued the Velcro one with some Aerodite on the back. I've run a strip of the other Velcro on the inside along the rear door. And then just put this up in the back. This is uh, just a rough job, but uh, it's sort of an emergency job because uh, a few mosquitoes around when I was up in the Northern Territory exploring the top end. So I had to get this in place as quick as I could. Otherwise I was spraying uh, all kinds of Toxic repellent over my body at night, which I'd rather not do. So this has been really good, especially when I'm cooking. This light can attract a lot of insects to this area when I'm cooking. I'll try and turn on these side lights to attract them over there, but uh, when this is here, at least it stops them getting inside and uh, biting me or crawling over me during the night, which can be quite uh, annoying when I have dozens of insects on me. Plus it's, you know, late 30 degrees Celsius, it gets hot. Some nights it's just, it's just sweating away, there's not much I can do. Uh, but this with the two nets, that helps increase the breeze, gives me some air, uh, and just uh, stops the insects getting into me. So that's my basic bed setup, and uh, for nearly nine months I've been using the bed just like this. Very comfortable. When the door's closed, it's uh, very silent, thanks to all the soundproofing I have. Sometimes I can barely hear any of the birds outside, and uh, even places where I've had waterfalls nearby, it's, uh, I can barely hear it. So it does kind of detract a little bit from the environmental sounds out in nature, but it's uh, been a wonderful home away from home. I can't really fault it in any way. Uh, pretty happy with the, the ease of setup. It's straight done, into bed. Uh, some nights I'm just so exhausted, I just don't want to do anything. So as you saw, very quick setup, very strong. I'm 65 kilograms and that's done perfectly fine for me. It's wide enough to fit two people in per quite perfectly just that fit on this side and the second part of the fridge would uh, make up the rest of the bed platform. So any more questions feel free to ask me and I'll try and get the, the answer to you. Just write it below here in the comments section of the video. Thanks for watching.